Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from Living in Central Oregon. And uh, thanks for watching. Please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos. We appreciate it. As you know, we've been working on our Central Oregon five acre mini ranch you might want to call it which would kind of turn into a homestead and I thought I'd show you something you guys just saw a minute ago an advertisement for our Ranger Rob poopy bags so I thought I'd show you this is where we keep them all so these are all Ranger Rob poopy bags and uh, I'd like to show you do all this one handed we just shipped out more to uh, Amazon so what we do is we buy thousands of poopy bags and uh, we have all kinds of different kinds <coughs> and these are the packages right here and uh, <coughs> as the inventory drops in Amazon we'll ship them more and uh, we also have the Range Raw poopy bags on rolls and this one has a, dis a little fabric distributor or um, a little pouch that you can put our rolls in Anyway, they're really slick, but um, <clears throat> we just shipped out uh, a big box of uh, rolls only, the refills, and uh, this is box right here is this a box that uh, I take with me when I do shows or go to stores and stuff. But yeah, there's a lot. Um, all of this, <coughs> all of this is Ranger Rob poopy bags, <clears throat> and uh, believe me, there used to be a lot more. Thanks to you guys, you've been... Uh, <coughs> Uh, loving the Ranger Rob poopy bags and uh, we really appreciate it. It helps our channel, helps our radio station, uh, helps us pay for the licensing and software we use for the uh, everything we do. So yeah, thank you very much. So let's move on and see what's going on today. Well you guys, I probably told you in uh, past videos that our pond leaks. <laughs> anyway, so I was using a timer right here. Um, to run the water for about 30 minutes to refill the pond every morning and I finally got around to uh, putting a float switch in it so I got that installed last night and uh, it's holding the pond level right where I want it to show you where I put it so look down here right here is the new float and it's working perfect and uh so i finally solved that problem and uh it's working great keeping the pond full and i don't have to manually fill it every day and uh one of these days we will have to let me you can see the pond here um empty out the pond what's happening is we have um uh aspen trees over here and I think the root systems are very aggressive or actually shoved their way through the side of the uh, liner and so we need to drop this down and seal the liner again so uh, <sighs> lots of things to do but yeah the pond is looking pretty and actually I'm not sure if it's a pond or a great big water dish for the dogs another thing I wanted to show you really quick was uh this crazy flower um this is beautiful look at this thing anyway it's uh doing really well here and uh i can't even pronounce what the heck this thing is but uh lobella um vulcan red they call it anyway it's a beautiful plant and uh it's flowering really nice so yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. Tomatoes are going crazy. Got tons of tomatoes. Got more tomatoes coming. Uh, right. This one here is going berserk. So, uh, by golly, I might actually get some tomatoes. So, once again, guys, I want to remind you to like and subscribe to our videos. Share our videos and tell people to come join our family as we... Uh, 
start finishing up the chicken pen way, way back there. And uh, next thing is we're going to be building some compost bins. But the big thing we're doing right now is, you can't see it very well, but the baby chickens have always had light on them. And uh, they're getting feathered pretty well. So we are now not running lights at all. So what we're doing is trying to get them used to the climate. Because within the next few days, they're going to go out to the new chicken coop. So we're using a hay, not straw out there. We'll get it all ready. i got to put some locks in. i got to put some uh, uh, doorknobs and things on. And put a little chicken ladder up. And uh, the pen will be ready to go. So for the next few days, the chickens will not be under any light. And so I can't even show them to you because there's really no light on them. Uh, but uh, uh, kind of exciting. They're just about ready to graduate. And we'll be happy to get them out to their new pen. We've worked hard on it took a lot longer. The other thing I was going to tell you real quick is uh, sorry about the wind. Uh, breezy day today. So as you can see the chicken pin out there next to that against the fence over there we're putting in a new compost three uh, unit compost system and then we'll start working on the garden and uh, darn wind, sorry about the wind. Um, we're going to start preparing this area, uh, getting the, the soil uh, all mixed, and uh, then we're going to tarp the whole thing for the, for the winter. For we'll be ready to uh, do our spring, <laughs> spring uh, planting. So uh, by then, we'll probably have a high tower done maybe a greenhouse or we'll use the green room and uh by the way when we uh add nutrients to our garden we have old pots of hanging baskets that were left here for years so we're going to kind of clean them out real quick and we're going to use that dirt to amend our soil over here and uh along with a big pile of soil here we're not even sure if it's local soil or if it's a, a better quality soil, we don't know. Once again, sorry about the wind. Anyway, let um, me get over by the building closer. So yeah, when the fall comes, by the way, since we've been cleaning so much, we got this big burn pile over here, and uh, we can't burn till the fall, and we have to get a permit. So uh, uh, that'll be an interesting day. So that's kind of the things going on today. We're going to be working on the chicken pen, getting all the locks put on, getting all ready, uh, get ready. Um, we've got, um, I also ordered solar motion lights that go in every corner of the pen so if predators come around the pen. If you're wondering, do we protect the, the chickens? And yes, we put a one foot chicken wire around the outside perimeter of the cage. To keep uh, keep the diggers out, and uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. So I want to thank you once again for watching. Please like, share, tell people about our show. Our show, um, become part of our family. We love to hear your comments. Please take the time and tell us what you're doing to get self-reliant. A little bit of prepping. Are you thinking about moving away from the city out to the folks here out here in Bend, Oregon? Um, there's actually a housing shortage. It's a one point, one point. The inventory is good for 1.1 months of sales. So our, our inventory is dropping and the prices are going up. So I got a feeling a lot of folks are saying enough of this city stuff with all the crap going on. So uh, uh, still not too late. Um, there's still some good prices and stuff. Um, obviously there's more places than just Bend, Oregon. But uh uh, yeah, a lot of people are getting the idea they need to get away from the city. And uh, I'd be interested in hearing your comments. Are you thinking about getting out of the city? How are you going to live? Um, we're trying to get more diversified um, and doing more online stuff. And of course you saw our Ranger Rob Poopy Bags help supplement us. And uh, I, do, I did retire from my aerospace company, so I have a pension, but that's not enough. 
So anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching the show. Thank you for buying our poopy bags. And thanks for being our friend. So anyway, talk to you later, guys. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.